All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've switched back to my headset with the microphone on it. Um, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm just not feeling all that well tonight. The past couple of videos I've done, I've uh, I got a new soundboard and a condenser mic, and I've been trying to use it just to get a to get a feel of trying to run things through it and everything. And I'm still trying to work the bugs out of it. So if y'all would just bear with me here on this, um, like I said, I'm just not feeling too good tonight, and I just don't feel like uh, running it through the uh, soundboard and the gear. So. We're going to go ahead and get started. The Dweller of Unal. Off dreamt I of buried Atlantis. Lost in the ages that have passed into night. Aeon on Aeon thou existed in beauty. A light shining through the darkness of night. Mighty in power, ruling the earthborn. Lord of the earth in Atlantis's day. King of nations, master of wisdom. Light through sun tall. S-U-N-T-A-L. Keeper of the way. Dwelt in his temple, the master of Unal. Light of the earth in Atlantis's day. Master he from my cycle beyond us, living in bodies as one among men, not as the earthborn. He from beyond us, son of a cycle, advanced beyond man. Know ye, O men, that Horlet the master was never one with the children of men. Far in the past time when Atlantis first grew as a power, appeared there one with the key of wisdom, showing the way of light to all. Showed he to all men the path of attainment, Way of the light that flows among men, mastering darkness, leading the man soul upward to heights that were one with the light. Divided the kingdoms he into sections. Ten were they ruled by children of men. Upon another built he a temple, built but not by the children of men. Out of the ether called he its substance, molded and formed by the power of Yotolan, Y T O L A N, into the forms he built with his mind. Mile upon mile it covered the island, space upon space it grew in its might. Black yet not black, but dark like the space-time, deep in its heart the essence of light. Swiftly the temple grew into being, molded and shaped by the word of the dweller, called from the formless into a form. Builded he then, within it, great chambers, filled them with forms called forth from the ether, filled them with wisdom called forth by his mind. Formless was he within his temple, yet was he formed in the image of men, dwelling among them, yet not of them. Strange and far different was he from the children of men. Chose he them from among the people, three who became his gateway. Chose he the three from the highest to become his links with Atlantis. Messengers they who carried his counsel to the kings of the children of men. Brought he forth others and taught them wisdom. Teachers, they to the children of men. Placed he them on the island of Undal, U-N-D-A-L, to stand as teachers of light to men. Each of those who were thus chosen, taught must he be for five years and ten. Only thus could he have understanding to bring light to the children of men. Thus there came into being the temple, a dwelling place for the master of men. I, Thoth, have ever sought wisdom, searching in darkness and searching in light. Long in my youth I traveled the pathway, seeking ever new knowledge to gain, until after much striving one of the three to me brought the light, brought he to me the commands of the dweller, called me from the darkness into the light, brought he me before the dweller, deep in the temple before the great fire, there on the great throne beheld I the dweller, clothed with the light and flashing with fire. Down I knelt before the great wisdom, filling the light flowing through me in waves. Heard I then the voice of the dweller, O darkness, come into the light. Long have ye sought the pathway to light. Each soul on earth that loosens its fetters shall soon be made free from the bondage of night. Forth from the darkness have ye arisen, closer approach the light of your goal. Here ye shall dwell as one of my children, keeper of records gathered by wisdom, instrument thou of the light from beyond. Ready by thou made to do what is needed, preserver of wisdom through the ages of darkness, that shall come fast on the children of men. Live thee here, and drink of all wisdom. Secrets and mysteries unto thee shall unveil. Then answered I the master of cycles, saying, O light that descended to men, give thou to me of thy wisdom, that I might be a teacher of men. Give thou of thy light, that I may be free. Spoke then to me again the master, Age after age shall ye live through your wisdom. I, when over Atlantis the ocean waves roll, holding the light, 
though hidden in darkness, ready to come whenever thou shalt call. Go thee now, and learn greater wisdom. Grow thou through light to infinities all. Long then dwelt I in the temple of the dweller, until at last I was one with the light. Followed I then the pathway to the star plains. Followed I then the pathway to light. Deep in the earth's heart I followed the pathway, learning the secrets below and above, learning the pathway to the halls of Amenti, learning the law that balances the world. To earth's hidden chambers pierced I by my wisdom, deep through the earth's crust into the pathway hidden for all ages from the children of men. Unveiled before me ever more wisdom until I reached a new knowledge, found that all is part of an all, greater and yet greater than all that we know. Searched I infinity's heart through all the ages, Deeper and yet deeper more mysteries I found. Now as I look back through the ages, know I that wisdom is boundless, ever grown greater through the ages, one with infinities greater than all. Light there was in ancient Atlantis, yet darkness too was hidden in all. Fell from the light into darkness some who had risen to heights among men. Proud they became because of their knowledge, proud were they of their place among men. Deep delved they into forbidden, opened the gateway that led to below. Sought they to gain ever more knowledge, but seeking to bring it up from below. He who descends below must have balance, else he is bound by lack of our light. Opened they then, by their knowledge, pathways forbidden to man. But in his temple, all seeing, the dweller lay in his aguanti, while through Atlantis his soul roamed free. Aguanti is spelled A-G-W-A-N-T-I. Saw he the Atlanteans, by their magic, opening the gateway that would bring the earth a great woe. Fast fled his soul then, back to his body. Up he arose from his aguanti, called he the three mighty messengers, gave the commands that shattered the world. Deep neath earth's crust to the halls of Amenti swiftly descended the dweller. Called he then on the powers of the seven lords wielded, changed the earth's balance, down sank Atlantis beneath the dark waves, Shattered the gateway that had been opened, shattered the doorway that led down below. All of the islands were shattered except Unal, U-N-A-L, and part of the island of the sons of the dweller. Preserved he them to be the teachers, lights on the path for those to come after, lights for the lesser children of men. Called he then I Thoth before him, gave me commands for all I should do, saying, Take thou, O Thoth, all of your wisdom. Take all of your records, take all of your magic. Go thou forth as a teacher of men. Go thou forth reserving the records, until in time light grows among men. Light shall thou be all through the ages, hidden yet found by enlightened men. Over all earth give we ye power, free thou to give or take it away. Greater thou now the sons of Atlantis. Take them and flee to the people of the rock caves. Fly to the land of the children of Kim, K-H-E-M. Then gathered I the sons of Atlantis into my spaceship, I brought all my records, brought the records of sunken Atlantis. Gathered I all my powers, instruments, many of mighty magic. Up then we rose on wings of the morning, high we arose above the temple, leaving behind the three and the dweller, deep in the halls neath the temple, closing the pathway to the lords of the cycles. Yet ever to him who has knowing, open shall be the path to Amenti. Fast fled we on the wings of the morning fled to the land of the children of Kim. There by my power I conquered and ruled them. Raised I to light the children of Kim. Deep beneath the rocks I buried my spaceship, waiting the time when man might be free. Over the spaceship erected a marker in the form of a lion, yet like unto man. There neath the image rests yet my spaceship, forth to be brought when need shall arise. Know ye, O man, that far in the future invaders shall come from out of the deep. Then awake ye who have wisdom, bring forth my ship, and conquer with ease. Deep neath the image lies my secret, search and find in the pyramid I built. Each to the other is the keystone, each the gateway that leads into life. Follow the key I leave behind me, seek and the doorway to life shall be thine. Seek thou in my pyramid, deep in the passage that ends in a wall. Use thou the key of the seven, and open to thee the pathway will fall. Now unto thee I have given my wisdom, now unto thee I have given my way. Follow the pathway, solve thou my secrets, unto thee I have shown the way. Okay, and that takes care of that particular tablet. 
Uh, one thing I just would like to add in closing. I haven't put it on any of the previous vi previous videos I've done so far. But if you like this reading, like, subscribe, share it. As long as you don't make any changes to what I've done, uh, I really, I don't care. I encourage it. And if you could, let your friends know, you know, to come over and, you know, give my uh, give my YouTube channel here a like. Just as a quick heads up, after we finish this, I'm going to be going into a lot smaller books that Manly P. Hall has written. You may, you may want to call them essays, treaties, or whatever. But when we finish this one, I'm going to go on to those. And those little books, you can go on Amazon and buy anywhere from 3 to $6 dollars. And you can read them in one day if you want to. Uh, usually it takes me two or three days because I'll sit down and study them and highlight the passages I think are really worth remembering. And like I said, they're, they're anywhere from 30 to 50 pages and can be done in one day. But once again, just as a reminder, if you could, like, subscribe, and share. Just please do not change any of the work I do on here. And until tomorrow night, we'll see you then.